What's going on everyone? It's your boy Anime Analyst aka the Young Jiggy Ninja. Today I'm going to walk you through how to unlock all the cards you want, unlock all the packs you want, and craft you know any cards you want in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So it's a new system that they're utilizing for you to be able to unlock the different cards you want from across the different archetypes. So I'm going to walk you through how you're going to be able to do that. Now as you see I'm in here. They got all the different secret packs, which are like archetype based packs that you can unlock by basically drawing and unlocking a boss monster that's within the pack. So you might notice that when you purchase, let's say you purchase uh, some master packs, right? Let's say you get a dark magician in the master pack from getting the dark magician in one of those packs, you will unlock a limited time secret pack that you can get more cards focused around that archetype just from going in there. So as you see, like, you know, darkest magics, if you had pulled a dark magician, you would get that. So let's go into how to craft cards that you need. All right, so cool. I've opened up one of the structure decks that they give you synchro of unity. Let's say just for instance, I want, you know, Stardust Dragon. Let's say I want a fucking Stardust Dragon. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the, the search box you know type stardust so well it's changing to only the cards i have now it'll show you all the cards that exist that fall under that criteria so there we go stardust dragon so i don't have that card it's a ur so i mean this is what you're gonna do you press l2 on ps5 the cards menu go to the cards menu and you'll see that you know it has different options it tells you that you can generate this card if you utilize 30 UR crafting points. So those are your crafting points at the top of the screen. You know, you got crafting points in, crafting points R, crafting points SR, and crafting points UR. So those are the different rarities and shit like that. What I would want to do in this situation is generate it. But you can also look at how to obtain it just without generating it. So it's going to tell you like the different packs that these cards are within so uh it's in the master pack it's in the synchro mode change it's in the pack stardust ties that i don't have and then it's in revival of legend that's the archetype that i want to unlock this little stardust ties that pack i want to unlock that so by crafting it going back here and crafting that i'm gonna unlock that pack that was locked before too so just think of whatever boss monster you want go look that card up and look at how to obtain it under the card menu so right now i'm going to generate one stardust dragon okay so and then you see on the top of the menu that little key is that little red key with the exclamation point now i'm going to press l1 r1 because it's telling me that i unlock these two different secret packs are now available and i get one free pull from each of the packs so let's go over into stardust ties we're going over into the shop you know what i'm saying so this is a this is a new pack that it wasn't available to me before just, you see the featured cards etc so i'm gonna get one free pull okay all right so i'm gonna open those up okay so now i have the stardust dragon available to me i pulled a card from the pack the secret pack is now available to me so i can like dump more gems into just specifically pulling that pack if i'm trying to build a specific archetype so now what i'm gonna do add that to my extra deck to this uh synchro unity deck okay so what if you don't have enough craft points to craft and generate the card that you want the boss monster that you want or whatever card you want let's say you lacking the crafting points what you can do is isolate which crafting points you need let's say that i need a sr crafting point right so that's the yellow one the cpsr so what i would do is go into uh go into square and you go to the filter menu so you want to go down to the rarity so you want to go to sr rarity and make sure everything else is like just open so then you're going to press ok and then you're going to press l3 to show only the cards that you possess so within here it's going to show you all the sr cards you need and you can dis mantle the cards if it says you can dismantle some of them you can't dismantle if you got it from a structure deck 
or if or it's been given to you you can't dismantle it but any cards that you pulled from packs you can dismantle so look at all the sr cards you have you might see one like yo i don't really like this card or i don't i would never need this card in my life you know what i'm saying this card is just straight buns so what i'm gonna do is card menu l2 on it and then it's gonna say dismantle plus 10 sr points so what i'm gonna do is you know what i'm saying dismantle that you know what i'm saying sent that john straight to the fire pit and i got added you know 10 points on i think it was 10 points onto my uh sr point forgive me if i'm wrong but and then right there i got the points added to my sr crafting point so then i can literally repeat that process let's say i don't like i don't need this one get my dismantle plus 10 right there and you see my crafting points are getting increased so you can do this for all the different rarities so you're really you know it's pushing you to pull more packs and get more cards and upgrade your library so that you have throw away stuff that you can put towards stuff you actually want but most of the stuff that's generated is usually the lowest rarity it's like a common rarity when you pull cards from packs or future cards they have some type of like shininess to them or whatever so if you really try to bling your deck out probably don't want to generate all your cards but if you don't care you, you just focused on whooping some ass go ahead generate all the cards you need just make sure that you have a library to kind of throw away the cards you don't need to make the cards you do want so this is a great system i feel like uh it re works really well it's a good balance between people being able to just get all the cards they want and having to also pull a little bit of uh cards from the packs with their gems so that's how you craft the different cards that you want and dismantle cards that you don't want in order to get crafting points for the cards that you do want that's a lot of that sounded crazy but basically find out what the boss monster is for the archetype that you want and you can see like what pack you know what i'm saying they're in and you can just pull from that pack and you're not really losing anything by pulling on a whole bunch of packs because you're getting bonus cards that you can use for other means you know what i'm saying so uh yeah basically all the the packs have like limited availability so they come back once you pull more cards etc but that's a rundown of you know simply how you can get the cards that you need so use that information wisely get out there win some ranked matches and you know what i'm saying run it up appreciate you watching subscribe it's been your boy i'm out of here peace hey, 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 hey.